Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. Uh, it's Wednesday. Uh, it's Wednesday. Let me check. Yeah, it's Wednesday. So what's really happening, guys? Uh, yesterday, actually, we saw the market breaking out of the resistance, which means that the market is actually trying to push to the upside. So uh, let's go straight to the chart. But before I go there, you know what we have to do. Firstly, if you want to talk to me here, uh, if you want to join the team, there are my contacts. You can see that you can just WhatsApp me or Telegram me. Check the contacts uh, correctly. Then maybe uh, you don't have to make any mistake with that because some people, I can see people, they send you uh, some like contacts on on the on the comment section, uh, which is not good. So uh, okay, I think uh, you you can just post the video then. You can just write everything down. So let's go to the break. Before that, uh, we can just go on get funded with Trader German Thirty to kickstart your trading career and make the profit that you deserve. And you will get access to Trading View, my FX book, and many more. And enjoy Traders Central ecosystem and so much more on their marketplace link in my description uh, check the link then you will start to enjoy more of the funding thanks okay thank you thank you thank you for watching so what do we see on the chart here i think everything's quite clear it's german 40 so here we have a very 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 nice a very very straightforward downtrend we can see that the market was just going down this is a resistant this is our resistant guess what the market just broke out there yesterday uh, which means that the market uh, is actually trying to change the trend do you see that so our resistant line was here our resistant line was there then we saw a breakout and now i can see that that is a very nice and clear retest so which means that we can even throw something like that there just to confirm that and uh, then that is clear actually that is clear uh, i just saw this late but i think the best way that we can do is we have to send a signal uh, something like this as a buy painting order then we expect the market to push to the upside something like that so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to post the video then i can able to send this as the market is trying to push the upside so that we so that we don't really miss uh, this trade so i will just post the video yeah okay i'm done sending the signal so what i see here i think is quite straightforward guys i hope this thing is quite straight uh, is quite clear what i see is everyone can see that we have a very nice breakout here the market just broke out of that now the market came back again now the market might change the trend and start to push the upside so that is telling us that you know what once we see this breakout the market mostly 90 percent of the time the market is changing the trend sometimes yes the market might create something like this try to push up then again the market goes lower again that is possible but mostly when the market does something like that we know that actually the market is changing the trend so it's similar to this area i think it's similar to uh, it's just that here the market was just consolidating but we can say we had something like this after that consolidation we had something like that you can see that so the market from this area was actually pushing to the upside uh, let me do this the market was pushing to the upside you can see that so we see that the market was pushing to the upside then after we had a very crazy breakout then the market tried to come back again then the market kept going lower but you can see that the market came around that area even if the market did not come this area but we see that the market uh, came back and retest exactly where the market re uh, actually at, at the same level where the market or the same zone where the market actually uh, uh, broke out so the market changed the trend like that you see so i hope you understand that so even here the market might do the same thing uh, when the market was going down now the market might start doing something like that and which means that uh, the market is actually doing what the market is actually changing the trend you see and if maybe you understand this, if you see this thing happening, mostly it's going to be way too easy for you to take trades. It's going to be way easy for you to see 
opportunities while they happening or while before they even happen because you can understand that you already saw the breakout you were just waiting for a retest then boom you will have your order ready then if the market goes or push up according to what we see then we're going to make profit it's as simple as that so i don't think maybe there's much that i can add more on this uh, german uh, 40 i think everything is just straightforward you see so let's push to the next one uh, so yesterday actually later yesterday we were supposed to go live but you know what mm. uh, you know load shading guys load shading is just messing things up so around eight the market uh, the, the power was gone i think we are on stage four uh, so the uh, early in the morning the the power it's off uh, and then later the power is gonna go off but today is not off actually i think it's gonna go around 12 that's why i want to send this as soon as possible around 12 uh, let's say in one hour in 30 minutes or two hours then the market will i mean the power is gonna go off then later on around eight o'clock or six o'clock again the market might uh, i mean the power can repeat the same thing so now we are on gold and gold guys is selling off gold is selling off so but before we clear everything that we have here what do we see we see that okay before even if we go on for our time on for our time frame we're still going to see the same thing you see you can see that so this is for our time frame so what's really happening here is we saw the market breaking out there you see the market closed here uh, actually some of them some people who trade gold maybe they were going to jump on it after this candlestick closes but mostly we check on one hour a uh, time frame before we jump but for those who maybe were waiting for maybe a rejection before uh, let's say pushing lower that rejection did not happen that's what we used to say and sometimes people they think maybe we we don't really know what we're doing so what's really happening on the market is sometimes or most of the time the market will after this breakout the market will come back and retest but that doesn't mean that always it's not always so what we see here is is the same thing here the market just broke out and started running and if maybe you were waiting for that it means uh, you can't catch that so what can we do at the moment if the market is creating something like that can we jump on the market can we buy can we sell so my uh, the, the simplest move that you can do is since we have this type of a strong sell-off and we don't really know where the market is going to respect people they will look at at their left side and see oh maybe kenzo what about this area what about this area yes but that is not really like seriously confirmed we don't know where the market is going to respect because if we look at our left we're going to have different areas so for us to not like get all over the place it means that we need to make sure that we wait for the market to create that for us the market has to give us something we know that even if the market is going to sell off like that it's not just going to drop a crazy like this obviously we this is a very strong sell off but one way or, or another the market will still create a move like this if it's a sell uh, if it's a downtrend obviously the market one way or another is going to create some similar move like that so which makes us to be what not to trade this at the moment especially if you missed it there even if maybe i was maybe trading gold i wasn't going to take it there because i think that was a bit cr uh, very strong a uh, sell-off and it was far from the breakout so the rejection was going to happen it might uh, actually the rejection sometimes the rejection rejection happened very quickly so you don't just have to jump on the market so what i see is i just have to wait for the market structure to create something like this then we can say okay the market is now on a very nice downtrend yes now we can see that the market is no longer on bullish it means now we just only look for what for sell 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 because now the market is on a downtrend but we need to have a decent structure we need to have a structure that we can rely on so here we are on an hour so maybe we're going to have something like this but this is very steep guys you can see that this is very steep so the market will create something that is going to respect 
a very nice area but at the moment i don't think that it's there so we just need to relax and see what uh, the market is going to offer us you see if that doesn't happen during the day it means we, we will just ignore whatever that is happening on gold for now not every day for now you see uh, okay, now we are on US Oil. Please, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. We are on US Oil. Let me just go on two hours uh, so that we can see on a bigger scale actually what's really happening. So, here it's quite straightforward. We saw the market was going down a few weeks ago. Then the market changed the direction, started pushing to the upside, and which we call that, you know what, this is an uptrend. So we expect the market to push the upside, you see. So uh, guess what? The market just broke out of that. The market just broke out of uh, that uptrend or that support area now we see that the market seems to be respecting that area but what we can do is i'm just if maybe this is going to be maybe a downtrend it means it has to have a very nice confirmation we have to have a very nice confirmation we can have something like that and say you know what since we had an area like that we can just even stop this here we can say since we have an area like that because now we see a breakout here it's possible that the market might come here before pushing lower but at the moment to say okay just because the market just tested this area once even if we when we look at our left side we see something it means for us to say okay guys let's sell we have to break this area let's break this area if the market pushes lower we can say you know what now it's our time to do it to get out you see so let me just remove this because i think that is creating some mess we have a lot on the chart so our chart must always be clean so what i see is this area is there just for to show us the breakout it's no longer really important actually what we want maybe we can say if the market reaches around this area it's possible that the market might start to create some move like that but for if what if the market doesn't go there it means this is a option it's our option to say okay guys if i reach if i break this area it's time to sell so where can we buy actually we can actually buy at the moment why because the market just broke out of the that uptrend which we were only doing what which we were only buying and last week i if i still remember we did it very well on us oil so for us to say maybe we need to buy the market has to create a nice structure that you know what I am no longer on that bearish momentum. If that happens, then we can say, okay, maybe it's time for us to do it, to buy. But maybe that will happen tomorrow, or maybe next week we'll see how the market reacts. And then it's, it has to create a structure that we, 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 we can follow. At the moment, we can just guess and say, oh, maybe the market will come here. No, at the moment, we're just looking for a sell. And I think it's going to be around this. If it pushes lower, it's where we can say, now it's our time to do what to sell simple simple as that so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one let's push to the next one which is us 30. so on us 30 let me just try maybe on this on a four hour time frame okay the market was just creating some very strong some very strong, uh, let's say, firstly, the market was creating some very strong bearish moves. We can see the market was just going down. Then yesterday, yesterday, this is for our time frame, guys. Yesterday, we saw the market break in that area, pushing to the upside. So what do we expect, actually? Do we expect that the market is going to push up or maybe push, in or push lower? Uh, what I'm expecting here is, I'm just expecting the market to to push lower a little bit to give me something maybe it might it might reach this area then i can say you know what it's time to buy you know sometimes when the market breaks out of the of a trend it's not really easy uh, just to identify some setups because uh, the market sometimes is still finding its way to create a new trend so the market might try to consolidate around this area before it finds the nice structure but at the moment what can we do we can just relax or what i have here at the moment i can say okay since we are on an uptrend 
as the market just broke out. I see an area like that, you see. So we will set that, that area as a resistant area. That area is going to do us a favor to say, okay, only just because now we are on a buy, actually, actually we are, we are on an uptrend, we can say something like that. So for us to say maybe we need to buy, continue buying, we see that the market created a resistant area around that area, around that zone. Do you see that? So just because the market created a resistance around that zone, it means for us to say, okay, we need to buy. Let's wait for the market to go above that again because the market might be creating a higher, a higher high. So a higher high is something like when the market is creating something like that. So we know that, okay, if the market wants to go above that area, since the market is not creating a, a lower high, we can say above that area, it's where we can do what we can buy. But there's possibility that this thing can still push a bit lower and might be something like that. And we can just continue doing something like that. And that is going to be something else, you see. And that is going to be, it's going to be easy for us. But this move, actually, it might be, we can say it's the first move. Maybe the market wants to create something like this. Something, or let me just show you this with some... Uh, some candlesticks, ghost candlesticks. So I want you to understand, guys. I want you to understand. So the market might create something like this. I might this 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 ones. They are very it's too much. I think something like this. Something like that. I don't know. Lower high, lower high. I thought maybe. I thought maybe this was going to be like, uh, yeah, I think maybe you can see what's really happening. The market might create something like that. The market might move like this, push up, come back, push up, come back, something like that. So this is the first move actually. That's why we need to do it. We need to relax because mostly the market creates something like that. If we go back, let me show you something. Let me go show me show you something. So I can say it's similar to here. So if maybe the market created something like this, obviously you won't know that, oh, this thing, it will move something like that. But once the market start to move lower, we might start to understand that, oh, maybe the market wants to create, this may be a lower high, lower high, then the market keeps pushing like that. But just because this is the first one, sometimes it's not really easy uh, to act on that. It's not easy to act on that. Mostly, uh, we're going to see that when the market maybe comes back there, we will understand, oh, maybe the market is giving us a retest, which means maybe the market is starting to push up. And on the second one, on the second uh, higher low, so a higher high is going to be easy for us to identify that. So it's going to be something like that. So this might not be easy. This will start to, to be like understandable. Now this one is just easy. Then we just go into enter on the bottom here, somewhere here. It's taking trades around there. Simple as that. I hope you understand that. I'm trying to make these things a try. I'm trying to make these things very simple. So I'm expecting to maybe for the market to retest, push up, retest, push up, retest, push up, something like that. But at the moment, the market is showing us that, you know what, Kenzo, uh, we are on, we're trying to, to, to make something out of an uptrend uh, because we just broke out of that uh, resistance. Uh, sorry, yeah, th that resistance was showing us that we are on a downtrend and we no longer, res the market did not respect that, which means we out, we out for some bullish moves. So let's push uh, for NASDAQ. So on NASDAQ also, we, we did have some nice trades yesterday. And I think we also have some very nice, uh, yeah, I think that is it's a very, very nice retest there. It's a very, very nice retest. So on an hour, let me just post this because I need to send this signal to the group. Yeah, uh, I'm done sending the signal. So we are on, 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 on NASDAQ. I think even on, on one hour is quite straightforward. So what do we see? Uh, we see that, you know what? The market was on a very, very nice, very, very, very simple, straightforward, and very easy to identify downtrend. Guess what? 
the market just broke out yesterday we saw the market pushing up and we had some trades later that uh, yesterday actually then later the market just tried to re to, to come back and retest and obviously when we say a buy, a buy pending order obviously it's because i think the market it's a re retested this area and it's time to go to the moon i think the market will push up later on so i don't think maybe there's much that i can add on next day guys uh, don't forget to uh, to come back later and to join the uh, sort of to join the our live sessions uh i think maybe you can still learn more from that please don't forget to smash that subscribe button but what i see here is quite straightforward i think the market uh, can still push the upside why because this breakout is very clear and i like that uh, the market already created a nice retest but still anything's possible anything's possible but we will see the market later on when the market is creating uh, some moves is still early the market can still push up the market can still push higher the market can still push higher thank you very much guys for those who want to talk to me here are my contacts you can just talk to me there uh, please try to come back later on just smash that notification so that when we go live you don't really miss anything thank you very much this is kenzo extra out forex uh, bye